to the AM Club, your favorite morning show in the country with me, Godwin Nambo. And we are about to jump straight into Lifestyle Daily, where we are discussing customer retention in today's world. Now, um, let's, let me quickly read this for you now. Staying competitive in the digital age is no easy feat. Because consumers are constantly bombarded with clever adverts trying to convince them to move to another company or service. And without a strong customer retention strategy, you may keep losing your customers. According to reports, the cost of acquiring new customers exceeds the cost of retaining existing ones. But developing a customer retention strategy isn't always straightforward. Maintaining that relationship may be more work than getting them in the door in the first place. This is why today's conversation will talk about what exactly customer retention means and its significance and ways to help retain your customers long term. And this reminds me of a conversation I had with a friend about, you know, changing, guys change a lot of, uh, guys find it hard changing their barbering shops, you know, their barbers. But um, there's something about barbers. Once you move, once you try someone else and it's really good, then it's hard to go back to the old barber. And we will be talking about how, you know, you can stick with your barber. Or if you're a barber, how you can retain your clients. Now, joining us for this conversation, we have Priscilla Wellenting, the Executive Director at Customer Service Africa. She's a certified professional trainer and certified customer service consultant. Priscilla, good morning. Before I jump into my conversation with you also, I'd like to invite my viewers to send in their questions, their thoughts, contribute to this discussion on our WhatsApp number 055033-1511, 055033-1511, or you can tweet at us on Twitter, of course, at MX24GH. Prisla, welcome. Hi. This is your first time on the show. Yes. It's good to have you. I'd like Happy to ask you everybody, to what do you here. think? Uh, um, I love the cleaner. <laughs> you love the cleaner? Yes. Oh, that's nice. That's the first person you observe. Yes, he, he really made me feel warm and comfortable. Yes, and he gave me a nice smile. Look I'm a that. sucker for smiles. You like so, smiles, yes. eh? I'll give you a lot to this morning. <laughs> but let's jump into it because you're a customer service person, so definitely. Now, um, to ask <clears throat> if, it is, if, it is, if it is, you know, if any businessman should consider retaining their customer is, is rhetorical. You know, but I want to know how important it is for any business at all, whether it's a small scale business or a big business, to retain their customers. Well, first of all, retaining uh, our customers is crucial for any business uh, because the rule of the game is you find customers, which is customer acquisition, you keep them, the retention, and you make money off them. You can't make money, you can't grow revenue without keeping the customer. So, retention is very important to every business. Interesting. And um, is it the same as why is it important to even <laughs> retain them? Because like you said, you're going to make profits from them anyway. So what would you say is more important, the acquisition or the retention? Uh, I think that fundamentally they are all important. However, retention is crucial. Crucial in the sense that, yes, we need to go and find customers. But how do we consistently make money? How do we grow revenue? And unfortunately, it's not a bad thing, but we seem to be focused or fixated on finding new customers. You spend so much to find new customers, and you're always spending so much to find new customers, whilst you don't do anything about keeping them. Because if you keep these customers, it makes it easy for you to do whatever with them because you've been able to build loyalty out of them based on your customer service or the experience that your service or your product brings to them so retention is key retention is key like pay attention to the customer it's more like a relationship the first time we meet it can end here or mm -hmm. it can grow Continue based on how we relate. So you can meet great acquaintances and then it end there, but there could be something better. If we become great friends, I could get referrals. You can call me any time. Priscilla, you have to come here and I'll be there. Mm. That's relationship, that's retention. So it's very crucial and important for businesses not to only focus on customer acquisition, which is finding the customer, but keeping the customer. Generally, do you think businesses in this country do well in retaining customers? No. 
We do well. Uh, it's my own term uh, that Ghanaians have everyday customers, but they don't have long-term customers, which is the retention. Because we're so focused, and that's why we have bad customer service attitude. Because if we are focused on retention, we will be able to learn from the customer. We'll be able to grow and we'll be able to do better. But because we have everyday customers, so I come today, I have a wow service. You don't know whether I came back or not. Mm -hmm. Or I come back today, you're rude to me. I go and I don't come back. You don't notice because the next day, new people keep coming until eventually you're out of business. And you're like, oh, what happened? Is it somebody from my village? No, it's because you refuse to pay attention to the retention. How many customers are you keeping as you're bringing them in? Mm. Are they just coming through the door and going out? Or as they come through the door, you have the ability to keep them. And that's so important. Well, I find that very interesting. In growing up, I remember there are lots of local businesses that sometimes the people, the people there, the business owners are very rude. Honestly, like your favorite watch seller, you can go there and the woman is, you know, she's not smiling, she's serious, she's not, you know, but tomorrow you're back there again, and the next day you're back there again. And then, what, what, what is it that those people do that no matter how rude or unfriendly they are, we still go back to them? Is it the product I, I, I think overpowering the, 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 the service? It's, it's not just the product. I don't know if it's the right word to use, the monopoly of the system. So... This area, you only have one wache seller. So either you buy wache or in this economy, you buy fried rice. So mm -hmm. definitely you want to, because you'll be here Monday to Sunday mm -hmm. probably. So now this wache seller knows that I'm the only one here. If that wache seller should get a competitor, I'm telling you, they'll sit up. Because when there's a dispensation where customers are being empowered, they're, they're, they're being well informed, they're demanding, they, they're understanding that I deserve more, I need more. Mm -hmm. So if a new competitor comes and they are giving a smile, maybe that's just, you will move there because... Just because of the smile. Exactly. So if the, the, the other watches are less, watches not even nice because of the you smile, will go I there. will go there. You'll go there. So people will choose that over the people quality of the food? People will choose that over... Whether it's because it's not the quality. See, the quality is important, but how do you, is the experience, the experience of the quality. So yes, this is quality, but the service is bad. Mm -hmm. Do I want to go get something that every day by the time I come back? Uh, in some type of way. Yes, or not. So the service is important and uh, it's key to have retention policy. Because that's how you'll be able to grow the business. Because fundamentally, we want to make money. Business is, unless you're doing charity. And if we want to make money, we have to apply rule two, which is to keep the customer, retain the customer at all costs. When you retain the customer, you save cost. Because now the retention becomes your ambassador. They go around saying, oh, I bought Wache here. I mean, the food is not that good, but they are so nice. Mm -hmm. You go and buy them. Mm -hmm. You, you get it. Well, there's a fine girl behind the watch. You go there and go and buy it. <laughs> but Prisla, what, what, what is it that some businesses do that cause them to lose customers? Um, it's their inability to resolve issues quickly for the customer. Mm. It's their inability to be well informed about their own products and services and to be able to give the customers the information. When you are well informed about a product or a service, it helps you make quicker decisions. So you, okay, I'll do it this next month or I'll do that now. But when the businesses themselves or the frontiers of the business do not have product knowledge, do not have service knowledge. There's issue, they don't have the ability to resolve the issue quickly. Now, mm. in resolving this issue, I always use two approach. Either you, you use the lip approach or the learn approach. Now, when you are in management position, you can use the lip approach, which is listen, empathize, apologize, and then produce result because you have the ability, you are in position too. Hey, Ghanaian businesses. Listen, empathize, and what? And apologize. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yes, that is very true. It's something that I grieve about and uh, I'm advocating for it. That's why we have something called customer service, Eye Usubai, because the whole idea of customer service is about your attitude. And to the customer, you are the business. You are MS24 <coughs> to everybody you meet. You are not you. You understand? So when you have that understanding that I am the product I'm selling, I am the service I'm selling, then it makes it easy for you to have hands on on uh, having solution to the problems mm. of the customer and having the ability to quickly want to solve that for the customer. In that case, what are some of the factors that influence a customer uh, to stick with a particular brand? Uh, most importantly the will service, be eh? trust. Okay. People do business with people they trust. Mm. Do they, so credibility. Do they trust your product? Do they trust your service? Do they trust you who is delivering? Then again, you are the business or you are there. So credibility is key to people. Then again, information. You should be able to uh, <coughs> equip equip the customer with the information about your product, your promotions, uh, be able to give them the solution they're looking for, they desire about that your product or your service will meet. And then again, be pleasant. People, I mean, imagine walking early morning into a studio or an office and nobody cares. Nobody pays attention. You, who is the guest or the customer, has to beckon to people to respond to you. No. When you walk into an office, when you walk into an organization, you want to have that feel like everybody is waiting for me mm -hmm. because the customer is the star of the show. Mm -hmm. You came to work to meet me. You came to work to get my money. So when I'm walking, I want, oh, hello, like I had today. I'm sure today is Power Smile Wednesday. So I'm already excited because Wednesday. of that experience. Mm. It's an experience mm. for me. And so it's very important. Credibility is key. Uh, information to the customer about your product. Being pleasant is also important. I know I, I want to mention a business, but I know my people will give me invoice <laughs> when I mention that business. My gym, my gym and spa, oh my goodness, it's in Jowulu. Look, from the moment you, from the, from the person, the, from the security guy to the very last person in there, everybody's smiling, everybody's welcoming you. Yes. They make you feel like you're a part of them. They're just you know, so excited sometimes I say, to I call it see my you. Gym, yes. You know, because it's become like, I've become a part of it because okay. I trust them. Yes. You know, and then today they are bringing, sometimes you'd be, you'd be surprised. You're leaving like, oh, we, we did this tutorial and we thought you might like it, so try why don't you try it? it? The next thing you know, you're buying That's it from them. That's customer experience. You, know, it's, it's such you a, have become the ambassador. That's why your, your people I'm give you a bill. You see, every opportunity you yes. get, you sell them. So they will reduce that acquisition cost because they have loyalty out of you. And you do it effortlessly. They don't have to pay you. You have become their ambassador. That's how important retention is to every business. But is it not going to be more expensive? So be, I have two more questions for you and we fly out okay. of this space. So is it true that it's more, it's, it's more expensive to acquire customers than it is to retain them? Absolutely. Mm. Because you, you now have to convince me. Like the new barber needs to convince you to leave your old barber. Mm -hmm. Well, eventually, when he's able to do that, you will stay with him. However, mm -hmm. the process of getting you to trust him and to come to him, That's all right. your old Baba had to do is to improve upon the service and make you stay. Let me stay. It doesn't matter the location, no. where he is. I'll you will go. To the place. I've been doing my braiding my hair in the same spot in Adenta for 10 years. Wow. Because no matter where I go, it, it cost me more mm -hmm. to go there mm -hmm. because I have to go there long distance, give tip and everything. But I enjoy it because when I get there, I like the way they make me feel. Mm. So I will go there. I always go there for the experience. And how does a small business, let's say a startup, I just started my food business, small, I don't have money. How do I retain my customers? Work on your attitude first because it's your attitude that will sell the product. So when you work, work on your attitude one and then produce services or design service and product with the customer in mind, not what you think I like. Mm. 
That's interesting. Yes. Not what you... We, we do that most of the time. I think, you know, when you're brainstorming and all of that, you bring your ideas mm -hmm. without thinking about the customer. What does the customer want? How would this... Uh, solve the customer's uh, uh, problems for them. When you have that as a new business, it makes you more creative and it makes it easy for you to build rapport, uh, which is in neuro terms, uh, it just says that telling the unconscious mind of someone that you can trust them. Mm. So it's easy for you to build rapport with new and potential customers just because you have a great attitude, you have a great understanding of customer service and your products and services are designed and tailored towards the needs of the customer, customer. rather than maybe yeah, your own yeah. fancy and... That's very interesting, Krista. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank wow. you. So I'm a small business or a startup and I want to learn more about customer service. Do, how do I reach you? Okay, uh, it's okay to share my yes. number. Yes, so um, we have uh, two models running now, the power of smile. Uh, and in June, we have uh, the workforce. We're doing a mental health customer service training, grooming, power smile, and of course, retention. So if you want to join, call me on 0242 0242-861098. 861098 and we will be there to help you redefine customer service to suit your customers. Before we go, let me quickly read this message. It says customer service is very important even when you are doing a charity work. Very interesting. And this one says, I can attest to this customer, customer retention experience. There are weeks I go without orders and suddenly one customer comes in and like five orders and orders and in like five orders, making up for all the weeks without orders, then I think to myself, if only I was rude to her. Very interesting, Alberta. Yeah. Thank you for that contribution. I think customers should be convinced so they have the trust of doing business with anyone. Thank you for sending in these comments. Truly appreciate them. Uh, let me quickly also remind you that Alliance Francaise is inviting you to come and study French. We'll put our numbers up, we'll put the numbers up for you shortly so that you can call them, but it's time to French up your life. If it was your level in French, if you want to uh, beef up your level in French, do visit Alliance Francais at www.afaacra.com and start your French journey today. But Priscilla Wellington Asante, the Executive Director at Customer Service Africa, is a certified professional trainer and customer a certified customer service personnel. Thank you very much, Rissler. Thank you for We appreciate me. you. We hope Thank to see you, you again. Yes, sure. It's Fashion Wednesday up next, and uh, you're still watching the AM Club right here on MX24 TV. We are discussing crochet.